Seven turnovers for you, somewhat uncharacteristic, certainly. How do you try to remedy that moving forward? Yeah, I know. I think you just got to be decisive with the ball. You got to make quick decisions. Um, you know, they're good defensively. Give them credit. But thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Guys, back to you. And George Pritchard knocks down the first shot of the second quarter for the Celtics. Actually, is elite defensively. But you love when a coach can coach someone hard first quarter. And I just thought the level of defensive intensity shifted for Milwaukee. Two free throws of the ball game. Milwaukee back up by two. And Tice with a nice follow off the white miss. That is their fifth offense. 11 minutes, 41 seconds in the first. The on-off numbers for the Bucks without Giannis are not pretty. So what do they do here, Mark? Give it to Bobby Portis, who couldn't catch. Tipped in by Lopez. Boy, you know, Lopez is... Wide open, Pritchard. For that second year pro going back to last year, when he seemingly was in foul trouble and didn't quite get the trust from the coaching staff. Wow. As Portis counters. That is a big time shot by Portis. Brantley. Now from the field. Tatum 0 for 5. And they're still only down by one. That's the good news. Portis out to Connaughton, open for three, and laces it. I love that Giannis isn't sitting here saying to myself, well, I have no Chris, so I'm good. 156 open threes, second most in the league this year. Now and can he make threes, one? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit strong on that attempt. You bring up a great point, Doris. Giannis is so wonderful at empowering his teammates. You see the results in the way that Grayson Allen and Pat Connaughton and Portis played in the first round against the Bulls. He misses on the Euro step. Bounce pass to Tatum. Got it. Maybe that'll get him going. Great job by Marcus Smart to get rid of it early. Mike's going to use a timeout. This, this is what I mean about Marcus Smart. Come on! Come on! I'm with you. I'm with you. The way they're playing defense, they're going to take advantage if you think about it. The defense, why? Keep going, why? Good job, BT. Great job. Hometown. Back home, PC. You think about the Bucks doing without him for the majority of the regular season and still posting the third best record in the East speaks to the great job by the coaching staff and the players of the Bucks as Allen knocks down the jumper. Again, off a double team. And you leave Grayson Allen, who had two huge games in that last series, a wide open three. Still waiting for Tatum and Brown to get cooking. Horford left it on the front rim. Brown and Tatum both in the ball game right now. Boston with all five starters on the floor and Giannis missing, but Boston giving it right back. Here's Allen. Two J's really struggling, and Grayson Allen quick triggers a three. Feels to me, Mark, like Boston has yet to settle into the game. I feel like sometimes they're rushing their offense. Like you said. Yeah, Marcus went one on one challenge, Giannis earlier. Jason making a pass in transition, and that's helping and fueling this team. And this is what Ime told us. If you're Boston, your offense is the first part of your defense. You're rushing your turnovers, you're fueling a dangerous team. So the Bucks in the regular season were middle of the pack defense, knowing what they're up against with Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and into the first series against Chicago, they have looked much more like themselves. Yes, Jalen and Jason have missed some shots, but you better be prepared for rotation and size at the cup if you're playing Milwaukee. The level of intention that Milwaukee's playing with, finishing things with the defensive rebound, a combined two for 11. Some of it's these two guys, right. and some of it is the Milwaukee defense. And during the huddle, a moment ago one of the voices the leading voices on this team where players take a lot of equity on the sidelines and in the locker room Grant Williams right there exhorting his teammates to get going perhaps hey, anybody who turned down Yale and Harvard as co college choices is bright enough to know what's going on with his own team it's Grant Williams here's smart Out to Horford. Smart, wide open. 
lines up the laces on the ball and left it short. They'll get another chance. Here's Tatum. Jalen Brown at some point, and that's now. Brown got the memo. He understood the assignment from Grant Williams. Carter against Robert Williams. Tough contested three. Wow. Did a lap and came home. He, he is very capable, Robert, extending out and challenging threes. Nice pocket pass. Never made it, though. It's a three on two, a four on two for the Bucks. Allen knocks down another three. Boy, what a revelation he's been, not just in the playoffs, but all season for the Milwaukee Bucks. And he has a big supporter in his head coach, Budenholzer. Yeah, Celtics, though, Mark, hurting themselves. That is now 14 points off of their nine turnovers. And Tatum finds the mark. Grant Williams and Drew Holiday getting ready to come back into the ball game for the respective sides. Little triple handoff to Allen. And Marcus Smart with a little Allen. Marcus Smart's going to hit the floor about three or four times a game. You can bet on that. Uh, he comes over in rotation. He, Marcus recognized Al was so deep that there was no way he was going to challenge that shot. So in trying to close to the shooter, too much contact.